This is the uh, unit with the side door open right now. And I really like how uh, wide open, even though it's short, you know, how wide open the doorway is. You do get a little bit of the kitchen galley, galley coming out. That has to happen because it's such a short unit. Um, but there's plenty of space. This also has a screen package, which is great. You just um, unzip, the, you, you unclip it here, and then you uh, zip it down. And then there's these magnets down here. So you see these are magnets here. And it just it closes in place automatically. It's really nice. My uh, Road Trek didn't have that. And I really wish sometimes on those hot summer days that it did so you could just have the side door wide open and just have a nice breeze coming in. So this one has it. It's great. Um, as you come in, I, th I just think they did a great job with the design of... Uh, of the ascent, um, you got the nice mirrors. They kind of, you know, you, you actually use them quite a bit before you step out of the um, out of the van. Um, I've got the interior that has the uh, curved radius um, laminate, laminate cupboards and storage units, which is nice. It also makes all of the uh, storage drawers here um, flush mount, which is great. The um, Lighting in the units, all multiplex wiring, which I really like. That means everything's controlled through this touch panel here. So I can turn all of my master lights on and off, but I can also individually say I want to shut the you know, living room lights on or off. Or, and this is nice, and my road trek didn't do this. My road trek, all these lights were tap lights, right? So I have to tap, 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 turn them on individually. And they were LED and they were either all on full power like this or they were off. And I found I ended up not really using them because they, they were just too bright. What's nice about these is I can, um, on the living room, you can see I, I'll hold it. And as I hold it, I can actually dim my lights down. So it's dimming them down, which is cool. Right, and I can bring them back up again by just touching again, and it'll bring them back up. So you have dimmable control on all your banks of lights. And there's even under cabinet lighting as well, which is great. And those are individually controlled as well. So plenty of lights in here. Um, again, you can get the walkthrough and see how all the components work. So I'm just talking about stuff that I like. I actually, you know, what's funny is people talk about like how much storage space that you, you lose basically. And it's true, you do lose a lot of storage space in these vans. But um, for what I use the van for, which is I use it for weekending with my family um, so we take it out places, a little adventures, and I use it as my mobile office, as you can see here. So uh, I'll take it to a nice spot like this place in the park, and I'll work for the day, which is great. And I actually don't use a lot of storage uh, at all. And so my philosophy is um, I've got a bunch of stuff at the house. Uh, so I've got you know, camping chairs and camping gear and... Um, my like camp stove and oven and all that stuff. And when I need them, I'll load up the unit, right? And so if we're gonna plan for a little uh, picnic outing, then I'll load that stuff up. But you can see here, I mean, most of the time as I'm driving around, I've got some blankets up there. Uh, I, I'm not carrying stuff around. I don't need it. I do carry certain things around. You can see I got my Amazon Echo. Um, always carry around a toiletry kit because you never know when you need to brush your teeth or something like that. But other than that, it's it's pretty empty. I always do carry around um, our pantry because I've got a daughter and whenever we travel, um, it's good to have snacks and stuff. So I've got the pantry. And then I always have the, all of the utensils and stuff like that are always filled up. But that's it. I mean, that's all I travel with. Oh, a few pointers um, for rattles. I bought this stuff at U-Haul. This is the packing stuff. It's just the foam, the thin foam sleeves. Uh, and there's various sizes. And I use that for all of my dishes and everything. And it has so helped with the rattles. There's like no rattles coming from the dishes. And the other thing that I do, you may think that I'm anal about this, but it's nice when you're driving down the road. I actually take little rubber bands and I rubber band my silverware. So they're not, that's a huge help when you're going down the road and you don't hear the silverware rattling and then i just always put the dish towel on top just to, to make sure so i don't get really any rattles from the kitchen i've kind of figured out how to do that also um i put the, i found these sponges these are great these are the flat sponges uh, and they, they work as a dishcloth but they're also a sponge um, they're really cheap 
but I, I just put this here so that uh, this top part doesn't rattle as well. So I've done little stuff like um, just to eliminate rattles, like this little cutting board thing. You can see on the edges, I put little felt things so that when it goes down the road, you can see it's not rattling. It used to rattle um, from Corian to Corian here. It would rattle, so that doesn't rattle. And then like these flip up counter extensions, you can see on the reflection back here. And underneath, I actually put um here's one here you can see put underneath i put little felt pads so that when you get on the road that these little things won't rattle as well and it all helps you know all the little all the little stuff helps but in general i'm really really happy with the build quality of pleasure way um just no rattles and squeaks at all anywhere i mean the cabinetry is just First of all, like, look at this. My, my road trek didn't have that. These are real positive latches. You can see there's a metal piece here and these aren't just decorative here. So when you push this, you can see it actually extends out. You see the metal piece? Let me focus there. See, it extends and that grabs that piece. And so these are actually true locking cabinets. That's not gonna open when I go down the road, right? It's just not gonna open. Um, and same thing with the drawers. The drawers are great. They're very easy to open and close, but there's a positive lock in the back. And I've never, even though are, these are filled up with pots and pans and silver and heavy, heavy dishes, I've never had one of these open going down the road. So I'm really, truly impressed with the build quality of Pleasure Way. Also, something to notice, I, when they put the unit together, you know, these units from Pleasure Way are not assembled on an assembly line. They're actually, you know, some units like, um, you know, I'm sorry I'm going to name some, but like Winnebago and, and Road Trek. Road Trek, I think, boasts that I think a, a unit will take like six hours to build from start to finish on the assembly line. These take six weeks. These Pleasure Way units take six weeks. They don't have an assembly line. They actually pull the van uh, into a stall, and it stays in that stall for six weeks as they build the van out. So everything's measured because there's slight variations from sprinter chassis to sprinter chassis. It could be quarter half inch off something so when they come in they measure everything they measure the subflooring they measure all the cabinets and everything's really really tight there's no need to have any type of you know plastic uh hiding gaps and stuff like that because everything is so extremely tight one of the things that they do which is really super cool is if you look at the base down here they actually silicon all the way around everything is silicon down here and that just is a testament to the level of quality and detail that Pleasure Way puts in. And that's again because these cabinets here are custom fit, they're custom made and measured for this actual Sprinter chassis. And so I really appreciate that uh, about Pleasure Way. It, it, it shows the, the level of quality and care that they have.